Hello, welcome to another session of Python programming for absolute beginners with software design. In this session, we look at the if condition, the conditions, the selection, and also the relation operations and Boolean operators, and no, or not something like that. So we'll first look at Boolean types and expressions. Python provides the Boolean type that can be either set to true or false. It can be true or it can be false. Finished equal true, just like that you can have true and false. A Boolean expression evaluates to one of two states, true or false. So if you have two operators, that two equal operators, it tests if two values are equal. Print 5 equal equal 5, it produces true. 5 equal equal 6, so it's wrong, it produces false. Obvious. Programming. So we have sequence, selection, and repetition. So sequence, so selection, also known as conditional statements, if and iterations, loops. So in other words, we have sequence. So, set of instructions one after the other. Conditions. So, it has a decision making. Conditional statements. If condition. And iterations. Loops. Solutions must be worked out before coding starts. So, before you jump and start the coding, you have to have the proper pseudocode and the flowchart. The design should be there. So we look at conditional statements. Sometimes we only want a program to execute the code under certain circumstances. Conditional statements gives us the ability as this ability. So it is if, if else, and else if. Let's see how we can use these keywords. So if you look at the flowchart, so we have a separate section related to flowchart. So I recommend you to go through that section as well. So here we'll look at a revision so we there's another previous slide which has the symbols related to flowchart so you can look at that so if we have true and false so here you have uh, the decision symbol if x is greater than 0 x is positive if not it is false so example 2 if letter equals equals a true then letter is a if not false, then it goes the normal direction. So in the decision, it there's always true and false. So if example one, so if conditional statements, so this is how the Python code is written. The slim, the simplest form is if. If x is greater than zero, print x is positive. Very simple. So if it's the value of x, x, x is a variable. The value is if it's greater than 0, x is positive. And next we go for the condition, the Boolean expression after if. If it is true, the indented statement runs. So if the condition is true, only you can see there's an indentation. So there's some space. So you have the if line and after the print statement, you have some space in the you have kept some space in the second line before you start the print statement. So that is called the indentation. So the, there's the condition, there's the important property, the Boolean expression after if, if it is true, the indented segments, statements runs. If not true, nothing happens. So if it's true, only the print statement will run and it will print x is positive, otherwise nothing. Indent. So your print statement Indent your print statement so that the program knows that it is part of this statement. So otherwise, if you don't have the proper indentation, you don't know where you started if and where you are ending if. So if it's imagine a code with a thousand lines of code without proper indentation, it is very hard to see which if started at which place and ends at which place. So it's wrong. So uh, the best practice is proper indentation. So indent your print statements so that the program knows that it is a part of the if statement. For four spaces is the common choice. 
if example 2 so letter is a if letter equals equals a double equals a print letter is a so you can try out this python code using one is setting a variable so if you have one equal sign that means setting a variable you assign a value to the letter a variable so if you have two equal signs that means e is equal to so you are checking the, whether it is same as a the if must be in lower case you must add a colon at the end of the statement so you must add a colon at the end of the statement so that is the notation you must indent your print statement so that it is part of the if statement if example if letter equals equals a print letter is a conditional expressions conditional expressions can be formed using the following operators double equal that means equal to then the second sign is not equal to third one is less than fourth one greater than next one is less than no equal to the last one is greater than no equal to so expression is true or false you can try this out on your own you can take two minutes and try it out so once you are done you can see the answers so again we will discuss about using indentation the print statement needs to be indented to be applied to if the statement block if not indented it is not part of the block so you can see the first two statements those are indented so that is part of the block the last one is not part of the if block so you can try out these exercises So if else example, two outcomes, get the program to do something if statement is false, flowchart, if the condition is true, the true branch, if not false branch. If else example 1, get the program to do something if the statement is false using else keyword. So this is the python code, so with the hash sign you have the comment, get input from the console and convert it to an integer a equals int input if a equal, double equals 0 a equals 10 then you can print a is equal to 10 else a is not equal to 10 so you have the if and else example so you have you can see those print statements are indented so there's another print statement at the end which is not part of the blocks so this is not in the if or else blocks so the outcome of this program is it prints the first message if the expression is true otherwise prints the second message so if else example 2 letter equals a if letter double equals a equals to a then letter is a else letter is not a else if additional conditions so give the program some additional conditions if it's true choice branch one false then there's another condition whether it is true another choice branch false another one so you have additional conditions so this is the else if program example in python letter equals c if letter double equals a then print it is a the letter is a else if letter so there's else if means there's another condition else if letter equal double equals b print letter is b and finally you have the else letter is not a or b you can try this out in your python example so if you have multiple additional conditions 
you give a int equals input a double equals 10 print if a equals to 10 print a is equal to 10 else if there's another condition if a is less than 10 you can print a is less than 10 after that there's another condition else if a greater than 10 that means a is greater than 10 else this should be this should never print because all the conditions are checked whether it's equal to 10 or less than 10 or greater than 10 all these statements are checked that means the final less statement will never be executed so we can use multiple else ifs test conditions for the first match only the first true branch runs only the first one which is true will run even if other conditions are true if none of the match then the else block will run so in this example we have checked all the conditions that means the else block will not run so that's the end of this session we'll discuss more examples in the next session